grocery store because I'm having a, not myself, but I'm making a fusion dinner of plant-based vegan goodness. And I like to say plant-based because, you know, a lot of people that are going around and they're just saying, I'm vegan, I'm, you know, and they're living off, I don't know, white sugar and vegan donuts, vegan cupcakes. Is this our highest help, our highest possibility? I want to talk about getting the nutrients from plants more raw every day. But for example, if this is new for you or new for your family or you're introducing it or frankly just sliding it in under the radar, you know what I mean? What does do your friends and family or people you're trying to help or you, what does their plate look like, you know? Do we have a situation where we've got maybe half raw and half cooked and it's plant foods? Rock the casbah, right? Is it a lower fat? You know, because when you eat low fat, it's adequate fat, right? When you eat lower protein, it's adequate protein. And then you're able to get a lot of volume of food from carbs that are in their whole plant form so that therefore you're going to be full and feel energized and you're going to feel mentally balanced. You're going to be able to get off your depression med medicine, your low libido medicine, your whatever it is that's going on. All these issues that I used to have that just kind of faded away but you know you don't have to eat all raw for that but the thing is and even if you're still eating meat okay well as you're on your journey start seeing that as more of like a side dish instead of the main dish or frankly the only dish and then start seeing it as a condiment right then if you need to replace that with a faux meat what I think is optimum is if people can just phase out the meat and a lot of times when you get into this faux meat you can get into a lot of processed food you know which I again don't think is the highest form of health so why not bypass that it would be great to bypass that or yet use these faux meats as also condiments see to me on my journey I don't want anything that looks like a sausage okay or I don't want anything that looks like um, I don't know. When I was a teenager, I used to work at Harris Teeter in the deli section, upon which I skimmed the knuckle off my hand on the meat grinder. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to let me use that, but I don't pay attention, so this was not good, okay? So anyway, there was this stuff called um, head cheese. Do y'all know what this is? It's not really cheese, but it's like this gelatin-formed kind of meat product that's like a byproduct. It's like all these little parts of meat, you don't really know what it is. It's like a um it's like a grab bag of meat, you know. Anyway, there was that in there and I don't know why I was telling you that, but what I'm saying is processed, you know, or even just so chemically pumped up. I mean do we really want ground up um basically male chickies because they were born male and now they're going to be in the grinder and their feathers and all are going to become your nugget. That's disgusting, but people don't know. So the further we can get away, the more plants, more plants every day. You know what I mean? Making you calm and bringing you to a place of peace with yourself, thus projecting peace out into this world, which is what we need, you know? Um, so later on today, I'm going to be creating, um, I might do, I'm not sure what I'm going to find that's a good price. I have been finding a lot of squashes this time of year because today is the first day of fall and I'm so excited. Just, I don't know, about the seasons, about the change of life, just about every dang day. Anyway, so depending on what we find, I'm going to be making what's well, going to be a, a like a, um, squashy type dance um almost like a dip but what i am am desiring today is some some nori wraps or raw sushi wraps so what i'm going to have is those i'm going to put my little um squashy kind of pate or dip on there i'm going to lay veggies it's going to be very flavorful i'm going to do a delicious dip um anyway and that's also going to serve as like if you would think of like um rice and then you had on top like a um some kind of thick dense sauce and all like a traditional meal um like my 
ex-husband used to like um, chicken fried steak and uh, he would like that with gravy over rice, creating a dense existence. So when I buy rice, I'm going to buy a multi-grain or a closer to its original version is my intent in that because therefore it has more nutrients. So this is what I'm going to have and I thought I would come to y'all with a little series on this of like, um, this is great when you're raw, you're raw vegan, you're high raw vegan, you're plant-based vegan, and your family's not, your friends are not, or they're interested, but give them something hearty, especially if you're talking about men. Men do not know how to live on salad, right? Um, also, a lot of people that are not used to eating plant-based foods are used to eating this small, I like to compare it to like a hot pocket, okay, or Pop-Tarts. You're talking about a dense calorie existence, though no real nutrients and a lot of chemicals and excitotoxins for a what effect. So give them a dense food, show them how they can eat more, and don't tell them they can't have the other stuff. People know what's healthy, and ultimately at the end of the day, I think people want to thrive. They want to feel good, so show them how they can do it on the delicious, you know. So I'll be coming back to y'all later, showing you what I come up with, and I'm going to be making a Tanny Roll uh, special delivery, and I may let y'all see how I set that up, and um, just trying to show love and light in my own little way, so... I love y'all. So I was just thinking about preparing this meal for my friend and Chris at the same time because it's, you know, a, a vegan diet, a high plants diet like I was just talking about. It's what Christopher eats, my son, and so don't you love it how I just assume you tune in every day? And if you don't, welcome to Tanny TV where I'm talking about becoming your great ver greatest version and doing that through clearing your body, soul, mind, and spirit and putting in purity and putting in all the good and releasing the bad, you know? Giving yourself everything you need and nothing you don't. That's what it boils down to. But also talking to people where they are. What is the next step in your journey, you know? Um, again, that you can't just throw yourself into the um, really strong undercurrents of the ocean when you can't swim and you don't even have any swimmies on, you know? Start with your pinky toe on the steps and have some swimmies on, you see? That way you're going to be successful. But back to the point. So, I was just thinking about this when I prepared my friend food the other night. He sort of stretched it out for two or three meals, and I was thinking, no, I thought that was like a small meal for one meal. But people are not used to eating, I mean, clearly a ribeye steak or a T-bone steak, once you cut off the fat, let's hope to goodness you do that, and then you cut out the bone, and you're left with the meat, you know, um, it's very calorie and fat dense. Even if you have a lower fat cut of meat, it's it's a high concentrated food, okay? So in your tummy, that's only, let's, let's say your tummy's this big, and that's only going to typically fill up this much where it's a lot of calories though. Do you see what I'm saying? But what happens is you usually put other things on top of that. You end up getting way more calories and fat than you need when what you initially need to do is fill up on plant foods. Fill the whole tummy up on plant foods. That way you're not getting more protein than you need. You know, a high protein diet in studies has been shown to shorten lifespan. I want to lengthen my life, you know, because everything in the beautiful world is, is just too good and I want to focus on the beautiful things and the positive and squeeze every ounce of love and light out of the day. So anyway, there's a learning curve. There's a learning curve to your body when it's taking in more fiber, when it's used to just basically a pile of meat rotting in there, no fiber to move it through. There's, It's a whole different situation, you know? But again, it's how we're meant to eat. So 
it's just a learning curve. But the point is, you're gonna have more volume of food. And when I see people that aren't used to eating this, just like when my mom has like fruit for breakfast, she'll wanna have just one apple or one orange. And she will tell me, well, fruit doesn't work for me in the morning because, you know, I'm hungry an hour later. Well, mommy, that's because you had a 75 calorie orange and that's all and you said you were full. So instead of that, have like a smoothie or have, um, have a, a green smoothie, clearly with a little bit of chia seeds in there, with some fruit enough, sip it and, and chew it so you assimilate it well. You know, the food we eat is, this is another topic, but it's only as good as what you digest and assimilate. So when you're having a green smoothie or any kind of food for that matter, chew it and masticate it until it's liquid. This goes such a long way. We're in such a hurry and, and I am, um, I fall victim to this, to really, not so much gulping the smoothies because I know better now. That's like a gut bomb waiting to happen but not chewing things thoroughly and really taking my time to enjoy each flavor. And that's what I strive to, to remind myself to do. So um, anyway, I'll be showing you